Hello, everybody, and welcome to this dash cam version of today's video. Um, first off, I want to say that I'm a little miffed with the, the little community here for no one telling me that the first video I did of the tour of my neighborhood had no sound on it. I have no idea why that happened, and I'm not 100% certain, but I'm pretty sure I deleted all of that stuff after I put the video up, so I will not be able to um, fix that. Maybe I could redo an audio track and drop it in. I have a lot of things to do, folks. Let's see if we can do that. That's better. Um, these are the things we have to do today. I have to go to the post office, ship a bunch of items that need shipping. I have to go to the Auto Club of Southern California. Oh my gosh, my old 7-Eleven. How are you doing? Um, go to the Auto Club and um, renew my membership and then pay for my car registration. Um, I already got the oil changed. I forgot to do a video about getting the oil changed, but I'm sure um, no matter where you live, an oil change is still just a fucking oil change. I don't know if I said it before, but um, I'm in Burbank. And from 2010 to 2013, for the most part, um, I lived here. You can give people a driver's license, but that doesn't mean they know how to drive. Auto Club of Southern California. Do they have auto clubs of different places? Member parking only. I am a member. Why did I turn out of that? God damn it. So stupid. Oh, that guy's backing up. Should get out of his way. So, I've had a fucking day. Apparently, my AAA membership was still good, which I don't understand why, but it was, so I'm not going to fucking argue with them. I will not to give them money if they are going to make me. And I went to get my registration and I unfold it because like a dumbass, I didn't fucking open the envelope and a lot of you were going, oh, I know what he fucking did. So I go to fucking pay for it and the guy's like, did you get a smog check? And I'm like, a what now? And as soon as it, like, and, and then it clicked and I was like, motherfucker. So, I needed a smog check. So I'm like, okay, I'll go get a smog check. Go find a place to get a smog check. And then I was thinking about it. And I'm like, look, my catalytic converter got stolen and I got it replaced. But they didn't have a sensor when I got it replaced. So I had to go buy one. And then I haven't been back to get them to put it back on. Is that going to be a problem? Am I going to fail my smog test and he's like yeah your engine lights on so of course you're gonna fail it and I'm like oh well okay but the only reason why the engine lights on is because the sensor is not attached and he's like yeah thank you for telling me but um, yeah you're not gonna pass you need to have that on because that's what checks the emissions so I guess that's like an important part of their job and I'm like, okay, so I have the sensor here. Can you just put it on and then do it? And he's like, no, because it needs to run for like a week, driving at least 30 miles a day. So anyway, that's what's going on. Um, I need to go back to the place now to have them put the sensor on. And then they'll put the sensor on. And then hopefully I'll fucking pass this mod check. So I paid for the fucking registration. I just don't have the tags.
So this is the Billiard Bookstore. Can't really see the sign there. Same kind of thing on the other side. Hello, how are you doing? Very different than the previous look. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, so the store is completely set up different, and I like the setup now. I think it makes more sense um, with where the front door is, because before, like. I felt like people could just like run in and take a bunch of shit and fucking leave. Not that people are like really stealing books. They have boxes and boxes of books out in front of the door that they haven't even gone through yet. In the poetry section, they had so many chapbooks. 
like staple bound or saddle stitched or, um, and I couldn't hold the camera because I was fucking holding a bunch of shit and I was digging through stuff. And I found something that is fucking ridiculous and I probably paid a little too much for it. Um, but I'm like, I'm freaking balls right now over this. And so when I went up to the counter, um, the guy was being really cool. And I'm like, yeah, do you guys have like any of like the old, like little magazines or like old zines like Olay or Wormwood, Wormwood Review or Targets or Hearse or, um, and that is where my camera died. So, um, there will be a book haul from the Iliad bookstore here momentarily. So get ready for that because it's a doozy. See you soon.